Hey what's going on guys, it is Jaco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 concepts. Something about GTA 6 we learned from the leaks back in 2022 is that stealth is going to be much improved in this game. And quick shout out to Mike the Nerd that inspired this video. He said, another thing Rockstar could bring from Red Dead 2 into GTA 6 is the stealth system where you can sneak undetected but also use various weapons like in Manhunt. And of course that is going to be today's topic and how Rockstar can improve it for GTA 6. Of course if you guys would like to check out any of the previous or future episodes of gta 6 concepts where we discuss some things we'd love to see in gta 6 i'll leave the full playlist down below in the description as well as let me know some other concepts and topics you guys would like to talk about in the comments down below unfortunately i can't show you guys because rockstar can copyright strike this video down but stealth is one of the bits of gameplay that we saw in the leaks back in 2022 and I know what you guys are thinking, Jacob, what the hell are you talking about? Of course there was stealth in GTA 5. You threw on a silencer and just hoped that they didn't hear a bullet hit a wall from a mile away. Uh, yeah, stealth in GTA 5 was crap. I mean, let's be honest, we couldn't even crouch in GTA 5 unless, of course, we were in cover. And don't get me wrong, I don't think stealth is a must for the Grand Theft Auto games or Grand Theft Auto series at all, but... Stealth opens a lot of doors when it comes to missions and possibly some cool heists we can do. I really wish I had the footage or could at least see the footage of the GTA 6 stealth gameplay, but it doesn't have to be super crazy over the top. At the end of the day, this isn't Payday 2, this isn't a Ghost Recon game, this isn't Splinter Cell, it's just it needs to be better than what it is right now. I remember back in the day doing the Humane Labs raid back when it was double money or actually useful in the game of Grand Theft Auto Online and I hated it because the mechanics were so bad. Even in KO Perico they are just terrible. The logic when it comes to the NPCs are either way too unrealistic or really really bad. There are way too many inconsistencies across the board when it came to stealth in GTA 5. There was times where if I were to shoot someone with a silenced weapon, I would be okay. But if I were to sneak up to them and do a takedown animation with a melee weapon, which was super clunky and didn't always work properly, sometimes people could just hear me and they would scream out before a knife randomly went to their neck and I blew my cover. And it just, it was just super inconsistent. And everyone that's played GTA Online and has done stealth missions knows exactly what I'm talking about. Having the ability to maybe distract some guards, get some cleaner, sneakier takedown animations would be definitely a must in GTA 6. Our enemy's logic is way too unrealistic right now. For example, if you were to shoot a wall behind an enemy because you missed a headshot maybe, there was zero time to recover, like the bullet hit the wall, everyone in the entire compound then knew exactly where you were and that it was a bullet and not a bird hitting a window or a rock getting kicked or something hitting a gutter or something they knew it was a bullet and knew where you were and the alarms were raised immediately maybe add a system where the guards will be suspicious then be really suspicious and then be alert to actual hostile activity or something like that not just one or two levels where they're completely oblivious and then boom they know exactly where you are and they're on the verge of killing you already because they just simply aim botted to you because they knew exactly where the bullet came from or whatever you guys know what i'm talking about and through the recent updates to KO Perico Heist, bodies can now be detected from guards and alert the entire island of your presence. Well, yeah, obviously a dead body should be treated as suspicious behavior and definitely make you quite alert and hostile to what the hell is going on around you, but they still shouldn't know exactly where you are or that everyone in the island now knows that someone's dead etc etc maybe have an alarm system or maybe a guard has to now reach to their phone or walkie talkie and then contact someone to then alert the entire island so maybe you have you know an extra two or three second period to then kill the person who detected the body and is now alert that something suspicious is going on and please 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 for the love of god rockstar 
Add a drag or pickup body animation or feature mechanic in GTA 6. We saw it in Red Dead Online and Red Dead 2, of course. So I definitely think I saw it in some of the GTA 6 leaked gameplay that we saw. That some of those mechanics of bodies, carrying, looting, and that sort of thing will be coming in GTA 6. So I'm not nearly as hopeful because I'm pretty sure it was confirmed back in the leaks. But having the ability to move these bodies or at least drag these bodies somewhere else Else where guards couldn't see them, hide them in a bush, hide them under a car, hide them in a dumpster, for example, could add so much stealth to the game and just overall fun gameplay immersion. Having the ability to crouch or even go prone, which was another thing by the way that was confirmed in the GTA 6 leaks, would also be super super helpful for remaining undetected. This could allow us to completely avoid needing to kill or knock out guards or enemies altogether. Maybe we could do some no kill runs and some heists. And maybe that could give us some bonus money or bonus XP or something like that. Or it could fall into some sort of honor system that may or may not be in GTA 6 or GTA 6 Online. But those are definitely some of the few changes I would love to see with some GTA 6 stealth gameplay. Nothing crazy, just some improvements of what could be or is already there that should be in a Grand Theft Auto game. At the end of the day, it's Grand Theft Auto, the series of chaos, satire, making fun of things. So yes, if I want to go loud, I should be able to go loud whenever I want and still be able to achieve the exact same thing as if I were to stealth it. But just having the stealth option there to maybe not allow the police to get called or etc etc get a wanted level is definitely something that needs to happen that's another thing you beat someone up in the middle of the woods the police somehow know you're there definitely having some better npc or enemy logic is a absolute must in gta 6 so let me know what you guys think down below with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace